For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in Aspen and Spring Green. You will also need a crochet hook. I'm using a 5mm. You will need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. To begin your project we're going to start by making a chain. So first of all you want to create your slip knot. and insert your hook. We're going to start with a foundation chain and this foundation chain needs to be in multiples of six. I'm going to chain 24 but you can chain however much you need in order to get the width of the blanket or whatever project you're working on. So you want to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, <coughs> yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that is six stitches. I'm going to go ahead and chain a few more till I reach 24. Um, if you want to pause the video here and come back when you've got your selected length. So I've now chained my length of 24 stitches and what you want to do is when you've got the length you want, you then want to do an additional chain two, so chain two more and this will be for turning. So we're now going to go back along this chain inserting our first row of shelf stitch. So we're going to skip this chain here and then work into the second chain from the hook and we're going to do a double crochet in here so this would be called single crochet in the US. So all you want to do is insert your hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the other two loops on your hook. We then want to skip two chains so we're skipping this one and this one and we're working into the third chain and we're now going to do a treble crochet and this is called double crochet in the US. So we want to yarn over Remember we're skipping the next two chains and inserting it into the third one. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is one treble crochet or double crochet if you're in the US. We're then going to do four more so there's going to be five treble crochets in this space. So we'll do our second one, third, fourth, and fifth. So that's now five treble crochets in that one stitch. We're then going to skip two chains again, so one, two, and then do a double crochet in this third chain. So the hook goes straight in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through to the two loops on the hook. So now that is your first shell shape. We're then going to go straight into the next shell. So all we do is simply skip two again and we're going to do five trebles into the third chain along. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then you're going to do four more. So that is three. Four, 
and 5. So that is our second shell, we now just need to attach it to the chain. So we skip two spaces and then do one double crochet into the third chain. So skip, skip and then into here. So we go straight into the chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And we're simply going to repeat this all the way to the end. So if you want to pause the video here, I'll leave the instructions below and I shall meet you back at the end of this row. Okay, so I'm now at the end of my row and because I chained 24, I end up with four shell stitches. That's because one set, one multiple of six equals one shell. So at the end, you will be left with three chains and you want to just insert your hook into the very last chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to change colours at this point so that I've got um, each row as a different colour. But if you wanted to keep the same colour, you can just chain one at this point. I'm actually just going to tie off, so I'm just going to yarn over, pull the yarn through, cut off, take out the yarn and pull nice and tight. And this is the way I always change colours just because I feel that it's a lot more sturdy this way but I realise it's not the technically correct way to do it. So that section there where I've just um, tied off my yarn, I'm going to insert my hook into the space of the last chain, grab my new colour and pull through. and then tie off and then grab my hook again, insert it into the same space and yarn over and pull through. So we are now at the same point as what we were uh, with the other colour. So all you want to do now is chain one and then turn your work and we're going to do a half shell in this same space. So you want to Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's one treble, and we're going to do two more trebles. So that's two. And that's three so that's our half shell we then want to skip two chain spaces so this is one this is two and this is our third one which we're going to work in so you want to insert your hook into that space and you're working into the top of the space so when you put your um, hook in it should look like you have like a, a little V on here or two two loops you want to insert your hook yarn over pull through and yarn over, pull through two. That makes the dip of our shell. We're then going to skip the next two spaces, so one, two, and then the third space, if you just pull it apart, because this, this stitch might be a bit tighter, uh, but this is the stitch that we're going to be working in. And we're going to do our five trebles in that stitch. So it's yarn over, insert, and again, it will look like it's got two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So that's our first treble. We're now going to do four more in that space. So one. two, three, and four. We now need to attach this end. 
So we're going to skip two spaces and insert our hook into the third space. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So this is how it should be looking at the moment. We have our full shells down at the bottom. We have a half shell at the beginning and then we have a full shell here. We've just done our double crochet in this stitch and you want to skip two and do five trebles into this third stitch here. Pause the video and work your way all the way along and I shall meet you at the end and I'll show how to do the third row. So now I'm at the end of this row to the point where I've just done a double crochet into this last shell. We're then going to miss two stitches and work our three treble crochets into this third stitch along, which is the very last stitch of the row. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you just want to do two more of those. And to finish off this row, you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. If you're staying with the same colour, you would just chain one at this point. But I'm going to yarn over, pull through and cut off my yarn, pull through and then get ready to change colour again. So I'm back with my um, Aspen colour and I'm going to insert my hook into this space here, grab the yarn and pull through and then tie off. Insert my hook into that same space again and yarn over and pull through. So you now want to chain one and turn your work. And we are going to be working into this dip section here. So I actually have um, three chains before I get to this one here. So it depends where you've inserted your yarn into. If you've got three, it doesn't really matter. We can just work into this, this one here. So it's the, the bit that attaches down into your previous row. So you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're gonna do um, five trebles in total into that section. So you want to go ahead and do four more treble crochets into that same chain space. So it's one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip two chains and then do a double into the top of this shell. Skip two and then five trebles into this bottom chain here, the third chain along. So I'm going to go ahead and work my way to the end of this row again. So if you want to pause the video, meet me back at the end and I shall explain what to do next. So now I'm at the end of this row and all I'm going to do is skip two chains. I've just done my five trebles here. So skip one, skip two and insert the hook into the third chain along. And I'm going to do a double crochet in there. I'm going to yarn over, pull through, snip off my yarn and then I will go ahead and attach my uh, light green colour again. Now this is just a two row repeat 
So our next row, and this will be the same whenever using this light green colour, is that I would do the half shell, which consists of three treble um, at the beginning and of the end of the row, and exactly the same pattern as you've been working through. So you can make this as big or as small as you want. You could also use different colours on each row, uh, but it's a really pretty pattern and it's quite simple and easy to do once you get the hang of it. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I would love to see your projects, so make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter using hashtag BellaCoco and my username at BellaCoco underscore. Please make sure you thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see more tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye.